Well, a third lawsuit is now being brought against the popular whiskey Templeton Rye. This one argues that the recipe used to make the whiskey isn't actually a prohibition era recipe and that the company deceived customers when it claimed to be tied to the Chicago bootlegger Al Capone. The Des Moines Register reports the company is also facing two other lawsuits tied to defrauding customers as well. Those argue that the good stuff isn't made using a recipe handed down through generations. They also claim that the company lied when it said that the whiskey was made in Iowa because it's actually made from a stock recipe and distilled in Indiana. Now, the company has come back and said it will put Indiana on its labels, but argues that it does add special ingredients when the whiskey gets to Iowa, and that makes it unique and helps replicate the taste of the Prohibition-era recipe.